everybody, welcome and welcome back to the Sonya Lene channel where you will be encouraged, entertained, and a little tickled. Now before I get into the video, you can show your love by smashing that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already, it is totally free. All right, guys, now before I get started, I just want to throw this disclaimer out. I am not a marriage counselor, neither am I a licensed professional. I am just a wife who has a little bit of experience, who likes to share my opinion, and I like to share my heart. So if you find this advice helpful, that is great. And if you don't find it helpful, I hope you find it entertaining, okay? <laughs> All right, so we have a good topic today. I think it's a good topic. I think it's something that a lot of couples don't really know about because nobody ever thinks about it. You know, if you in a relationship and you living good and you married or, you know, committed or whatever and you living together, then you don't think about these things. But I'm going to go ahead and get right into it, all right? All right, so the email reads, Hey, Sonia, thank you for giving us a voice because marriage counseling costs a fortune. <laughs> Listen, I know it's expensive, y'all, but it is very important that at least, if, you know, go to counseling as much as you possibly can, you know, throughout your marriage. You don't have to always go. It don't have to be standing appointments, but you want to make sure that you have some counseling session schedule just to make sure you're on track okay so i know marriage counseling is is expensive but y'all find a way to just make sure everything is good marriage counseling is bomb all right it is so good for every marriage for every relationship it helps you to keep that balance because sometimes when we think we're doing good we ain't really doing so good so marriage counseling always helps you to be aware of what needs work in your relationship. Okay, anyway, let me get back to it. I'm going to start over. <laughs> hey, Sonia, thank you for giving us a voice because marriage counseling costs a fortune. I got kids. <laughs> Money is the biggest issue in my marriage. We have been married seven years, and for the past three years, I've been a stay-at-home mom. We have a three-year-old daughter and triplet boys who are now 15 months old. Jesus. Triplet boys? Baby? I'm praying for you. Okay? And by the way, this, this person did not put a name in the email, so I have no idea. Okay, anyway, uh, triplet boys who are now 15 months old. My husband makes all the money and takes care of the bills. He gives me a weekly allowance and says I don't have no excuse not to keep my hair done, but won't buy food or pull-ups for the babies. In our state, it is legal for a wife to put her husband on child support, even if they live in the same house. Come on, Popo! <sighs> anyway, we're just going to keep going. Even if they live in the same house, I asked him to buy things and he tells me, I gave you money so you need to take care of it. I'm really thinking about filing those papers. Please help me. Okay. Whew. This is a hard one. But I will tell you this. If you put your husband on child support, he lives with you. If you put him on child support, he will probably leave you. Okay, so I'm not saying you should be afraid that he might leave or whatever, but if you want your marriage to work, then you guys need to sit down and have a heart to heart. Um, your husband has trust issues, number one. And your husband is stingy, number two. Okay, um, I don't think he realizes that he's married and he's got kids. First of all, he's got triplet boys, okay? I don't know how much money he giving you for your allowance every week, but I'm pretty sure it's probably not enough to do everything other than the bills. I mean, yes, you say he take care of the bills. He, you know, he goes out and he makes all the money. I'm wondering how much money he give you every week. Because if he wants you to take care of the babies, pam um, pull up, you say food and pull ups, then you got an older child. It's just I ugh. 
And then he said, you don't have no excuse not to have your hair done. So it's making me feel like, you know, in the past, you have probably just kind of not cared about your hair or whatever. I don't know. Or kind of let yourself go because he giving you money like, okay, now you don't have no excuse not to have your hair done. Well, let me tell you this, okay? If he wants you to look good, then he got to make sure that you have what you need, especially if he don't want you to work, if he wants you to stay home and take care of all them children, okay? Because that three-year-old probably not in school either, so that means you got four babies at home. You got four babies at home, so you take care of the four babies at home. I don't even know how you got time to go get your hair done, but okay. Anyway, you got four babies at home. He give you a weekly allowance. Like, them babies don't need nothing. He just wants you to look good. He wants you to represent him. But here's the thing. You want me to represent you? You need to make sure that I got what I need. Okay? Because ain't no way. First of all, ain't no mother. Okay? I'm going to tell you this right now. Ain't no mother who care about her children. Or who cares about her reputation as a mother. Ain't no mother finna take no money that they got and get their hair done if their kids ain't got no food. And them babies ain't got no pull-ups. She going to take that money and she going to take care of them kids. So for any man who gives a woman some money and you don't give her enough money to take care of the house, she going to take care of the house. And then you just going to have to deal with her nappy head. Now, or give her some more money. But I would not advise you filing the papers yet. Okay. I really want you to talk to your husband, sit down, have a heart to heart. Y'all already know. Every video I do, I always mention communication. Communication is everything, okay? <laughs> communication is everything. You got to make sure that you are talking everything out in your relationships. Like if you can't communicate in your relationship, you're not in a relationship, okay? You're not in a relationship if you can't talk, if you can't communicate, if y'all can't sit down and come to some type of agreement about, okay, this is what's going on and this is what needs to happen. And then y'all come together and try to figure out how to make it happen. But if he's controlling the money and not sharing with his family, not taking care of his family, I don't care if he pays the bills. That's his choice. Clearly... You're at home taking care of four children. And most of the time when women are stay-at-home moms, their whole life is their children. You want to know how I know? I was a stay-at-home mom for 11 years. Okay? My whole life was my children. Okay? My husband, he went out. He worked. When he came home, yes, he spent time with our children. He, You know, but most of the time when he came from home from work, it was only an hour or two left before it was time for the kids to go to bed. So I had been spending time with the children all day, taking care of everything. If anything was going on at school, I was there. If anything, like I took care of my kids so I can relate to a stay-at-home mom. Don't get on my case about me not going to get my hair done unless you about to come watch these children. But sit down and have a conversation and be 100% real. Y'all know that I always say be real. Do not bend and do not break because of your partner's feelings. Their feelings will be okay, okay? They're, don't worry about hurting their feelings. I care about my husband's feelings. But I do know that some of the things that need to be said will hurt his feelings. We will patch his feelings back together later. But this needs to be said, and he needs to hear it. So you have to be honest. I tell everybody this, all couples, if you're going to sit down and have a real conversation, make sure the conversation is real. Don't bend. Don't break. Don't soften up because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. That's what we do. We patch each other's feelings back up. But sometimes we break each other's hearts. So that we can be stronger and build a stronger bond between us and build a stronger family. But we can't have no strong family when you over here controlling all the money when you the one got me standing at home watching these children. I could go out and work and we put these babies in daycare. 
Ain't no way I'm putting my babies in daycare. <laughs> That's why I was a stay-at-home mom for 11 years. But daycare was not an option, okay? I was well able to take care of my own children. And my husband was a wonderful provider. And no, he didn't give me no allowance, okay? After the bills was paid, mama can do whatever she want to do. Because my husband knew that I was responsible. I am not a woman that will go out and just spin, spin, spin because it's in the account. I'm the type of woman to make sure all the bills are paid. And that we have some money in our savings account because anything can happen. So, and that's another question I have. Does your husband hold out on you because you're not responsible with money? Are you bad with money? Okay, so there are some other questions other than why he holding the money and why he controlling everything. Excuse me. Y'all, I just had dinner. Um, so if he's controlling everything because he feels that you're bad with money, then that's something that you need to deal with. Okay? You can't put your husband on child support and then you're still not going to do right by the money. And let me just say this. Child support don't always mean more money. Okay, you can file child support on your husband and get 10% of what he already give you. So be careful. Be very, very careful. You need to communicate with your husband. I don't recommend any woman putting their husbands on child support. I feel like you got to put your husband on child support. He ain't really your husband. Because a real man is going to make sure that mama and the children are doing just fine. There is not going to be any, you know, you're not going to have to worry about what your children are going to eat. You're not going to have to worry about the babies having pull-ups. Those are babies. 15 months old? They not potty trained because it's three of them. How you going to potty train three children at the same time? Okay, it's going to take them a while. One of them may catch on and then the next one and the next one, but 15 months old, you're doing good for them to be in pull-ups because they could still be in diapers. So, Daddy, you're going to have to come up off a little bit more money for them babies. You made them. Them your children. Them not just her children. Just because you go out and work and you don't spend much time with them, they still yours. Your wife thinking about putting you on child support. I'm going to need for you to listen, okay? Sit down and listen to mama and let her tell you that she's not happy with having to worry and struggle to feed her children and make sure that they have pull-ups. And then all you want is for her to look good? Come up off a little bit more money, honey. Because I know how much it costs to get your hair done. I know how much it costs to get your nails done. Get your makeup done. I know how much it costs. And I'm pretty sure if, she, if she's writing me, complaining about listening to me talking to daddy, now he probably ain't going to see this video. Anyway, if she's writing me complaining about not being able to buy things for the kids, I'm pretty sure she don't have enough money to get beautified. So come on up off that money. I know, I know, it's hard. But this is what you want. You want your wife to look good. You don't want her to be a woman that just throws herself away and let herself go. You know, even though she's had, she done pushed out three of your babies at the same time. That's a lot. That's a lot, honey. She need to be getting push gifts. Three of them. Four of them. <laughs> Mama needs some push gifts, okay? Daddy, you got some making up to do. But mama, you need to sit daddy down and talk to him. Sit him down. Let him know, you know. Let him know what you need and be honest. And let him know what you're thinking about doing. <laughs> Most of the time, when that child support conversation come up, you can pretty much get him to do right. But he's, he's, he's your husband. You should not have to ever threaten your husband with child support. Okay? You shouldn't have to do that. But you need to be honest with him and let him know you was thinking about it. Okay? That might definitely change things.
And I hate that it have to come to that. I hate that you have to really worry and think about that kind of stuff. Seeing that you live in a house with a whole nother person that goes out and makes good money. Okay? And if money is an issue, is if it's like, okay, that's all I got to give because our bills are so much, then that needs to be a conversation too. All you need is an understanding. So, work it out, y'all. Alright, so that is it. All right, that's all I got to say on this subject. I need y'all to drop down in the comments, okay, and give your opinion on how this situation can work. I'm sorry she didn't put a name in the email, um, and I'm not going to put her name out there if I don't know it, you know, and, you know, I didn't get permission to put the email name or anything like that. But drop down in the comments and let us know what you guys think about this, this topic. Um, how can they make this work without putting her husband on child support? Because if she put her husband on child support, she's going to be single. Ain't no man finna live in no house with no woman and pay child support. So if she put him on child, she filed them papers, honey, she best be ready to be single. She going to file some child support papers and he going to file some divorce papers because this is over. If I got to pay child support, I don't need to be Jew. Okay. So let's help them keep their marriage together, y'all. All right. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget sharing this caring, y'all. Share this video with everybody. And until next time, you say a prayer for me and I'll do the same for you. Bye-bye now. Monday.